Hello, and welcome back to our concept board tutorial series. Today, I'm going to show you everything you need to know on how to use shapes, lines and arrows. So let's start with the shape tool. You find the shape tool up here in your toolbar or by just pressing S on your keyboard. You can then choose between these shapes and choose the style. So choose between filled, transparent or just the outline and choose this, um, the color that you like. And then you just click on the board, hold and choose the size of the shape that you like. You can also just click on the board once and then still change the size. If you want to keep the proportions of the shape, you hold shift on your keyboard and then change to the size that you like. You can then still change the um, style and you can also write into shapes. So you click on the shape and then either click on the text option here or you just click on it with a double click and then it directly brings you to the text tool. And now I can write in it. I can also change the size of the font, change the font style or the color. And if I now change the size, the text always stays in the middle of the shape. So, moving on to the line and arrow tool. You find the line and arrow tool up here in your toolbar or by just pressing L on your keyboard. If you press A, it directly brings you to the arrow tool. You can then pick the style of the line that you like, the size and the color. And then you just Click on the board and hold to draw your line. If you need to draw a really straight line, once again just press or hold shift on your keyboard and then draw the line and it won't let me move up or down so it gives me only this really straight line. I can now still edit the line so I could still make it a dotted line, change the size or even make an arrow. I can also change the direction of the arrow or, for example, make it a curvy line or have some edges in it. And of course, I can also still change the color. If we now want to bring shapes and lines together, we have our connectors. So if you have some shapes on your board and then choose the line tool, you directly see these red dots. So if I now start here, I see this one gets a bit bigger and I connect it to this one. So I now see it's connected since this other red dot is also getting bigger. I leave it and if I move this shape now, the line moves with it. So I might say, oh, okay, I don't want to have it there anymore. So I click on the line again, click on the red dot, and now move it to a different spot. Same here. And I can still edit the line, choose a different color, just like before. If I have another line, and now also want to connect this one and move this one now, both lines move with it. So that's all from me for today. Now it's your turn to leave your shapes, lines and arrows on your boards. Happy collaborating!